From the time I'm making this video, there have been roughly 95 hip hop project launches so far in 2023. This includes studio albums, mixtapes, EPs, and collaborative albums. And in terms of sales, it's been nothing but challenging as only a handful of projects managed to sell more than 100,000 copies in their first week. Some may say it's due to the market saturation of too many artists and too many releases. Others may say it's due to the economic decline and people not having money to spend on music. Many may argue that sales are low because music preferences have changed over time and hip hop may not be as appealing to the current generation as Afrobeats is. Well, one person who may dispel all of this is Onika Tanya Maraj with her launch of Pink Friday 2. Because even though the album is not out yet, it is already predicted to sell more than any other hip hop project this year, according to Billboard. The pre-order sales for the album have been phenomenal with over 500,000 copies sold in the first week on Nikki's website alone. This now begs the question, is Pink Friday going to be the best album in 2023? Well, in this video, we're going to delve into the psychology behind the pre-launch stage of Pink Friday 2 and why it's outselling almost everyone, even though it's not coming out until December 8. We're going to explore three psychological strategies that Nikki and the team used in the pre-launch stage to generate buzz, hype, excitement, and sales. In hip hop, it is tradition that people only release their albums on Fridays because it's a global release day worldwide. What that means is new albums and new singles are available in all countries on the same day. This helps them prevent piracy, it also helps increase sales, and it also boosts the chances of landing on the chart. So knowing that there's a long gap between the time she announced Pink Friday 2 to the date that it will actually launch, Nicki Minaj used Scent Ration and did this. So after she announced the album Pink Friday 2, she told fans that each Friday leading to the launch date, she will be dropping a surprise for her fans. And what this is doing is that no matter what her competitors or her peers are doing on a Friday in terms of releasing songs or releasing albums, she always finds a way to bring back the attention back to her. Centration in psychology is the tendency or the habit that causes a person to concentrate or focus on a single aspect or a particular thing and neglect other things. Because every Friday, no matter what anybody's doing, as soon as Nikki drops a surprise, first of all, her fans are waiting. What's the surprise? Then when she drops it, sometimes it's a vinyl, sometimes it's a signed CD. They're all rushing to the website to go and buy. All the attention is there. Um, the albums are selling out, so they're on Twitter saying, oh, it's sold out, I need to buy something. All the attention is back to Nikki. That's what she's done really, really well on the first psychological strategy. She also does something similar in the second psychological strategy, but this time she used it in a different context. In psychoanalysis, transference is the process of passing emotions from one person to another. Right now, I assume Nikki is going through a range of emotions. It's been five years since she dropped her last album and a lot has happened to her personally and also professionally and the industry has also changed, right? So she must be experiencing feelings like nostalgia when she's like going through her past songs or looking at all of the things she's done so far. So as she's creating this current album, she must be going through that. She also must be going through self-doubt, which every human being does, maybe excitement, stress, and also anxiety. But do you know what she's doing brilliantly with these emotions? She's passing it on to her fans. 
like from the frequent polls seeking their opinions to the constant updates on what's going on with the album to this out of the box idea of creating a calendar with important dates of her career and then creating it in a way that her fans can sync this calendar in their personal calendars so they know every single thing that Nikki has done in these past years on that date and not only that you know their own personal calendars will give them updates of these things and fans are taking these dates and then resharing them on social media to remind people that on oh, November 1st on this year Nikki did this on November like it's so good so this transparent strategy will ensure that her fans not only feel emotionally connected but it's like they're creating the album with her they're sharing their anticipation with her they're sharing every feeling that she must be going through they're sharing that feeling with her so she's involving them in the creative process and this is making them feel valued but at the same time they're also sharing this and then getting other people to see what's going on with the album launch they're bringing all the attention back to nikki right so she is also using this process for the final psychological strategy which we will delve into recently the rap industry has seen a shift at the beginning of this video i've shown you how france are craving for something new they want to see more substance they want to see less of the surface level stuff optimized for tiktok virality they want to hear raps basically and nikki knows this she knows because of the state of the industry this album can make or break her so as a result she's subtly using the Houghton effect to address this the Houghton effect is a type of reaction in which a person tries to improve their behavior in response to the fact that their behavior is being measured. We've seen her showcase this in the snippet she shared, the big difference snippet she shared. We've seen her showcase this with the focus of the album updates. She's always telling us, oh, you're going to love this. It's rap because she reads the room. She knows what's going on in the industry. So she's addressing that. So in a way, she's indirectly saying, I know what you guys have been going through, but I am here to save rap this year with Pink Friday 2. Now, judging from all I've shared, the optics, the strategies, the numbers, everything seems to be looking positive for Pink Friday 2. But is it the best launch of 2023? Well, to answer that, we have three things to factor in. We have to factor in the quality of the launch offer itself, aka the songs. We have to factor in consumers and critics reception and feedback. We also have to factor in the long-term impact of the album. So this cannot be just one video. That's why I am going to create some more parts, part two, part three, possibly part four of this same topic. So do make sure that you subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and spread the word about the channel. I will see you on to the next one. Thank you.